Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Like the Bel Air Trey. I tell you, it's a great, great driving car. It really is. It's smooth, it's got a good sound, it steers well. Nice car. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's car. The reason I'm smiling so much is because this is the kind of car that is uh, a game changer and a life changer. You say, well, Tone, how could a car be a life changer, a game changer? Okay, you're right. Hear me out for a second. Maybe I can tell you why. First off, this, uh, I grew up in the muscle car area. This was a little bit before my time, right? But I love the style of this. And one of the reasons I love the style is because I love the era that this was in. Can you imagine what this is like? So we're almost to 2020 doing this video right now. This car is 63 years old, 63 years old. And when it goes down the road, the world stops. Everybody looks at this thing. Everybody thumbs up whether they're driving a Prius, a Civic, uh, a Tesla, things that have no fuel in them at all. They love this car, and the reason why is because it makes them smile. They remember the world was a different place. We're gonna take a second, we're gonna look around at this car and see what was happening in the world at the time that uh, was incorporated into the design in here. We'll start right now with great quality paint, all right, and how authentic the car is. All right, so come on up here and see how you can read those letters nice and clear. Forget the fact that you can read it. You want to be able to see every letter it needs to be crisp and clear, right? All the chrome in this car is redone. Look at the front end of this thing, man. It is beautiful. The gold package on the car from the emblems to the grill, right? This is the jet air intakes, right? More jet features. We're in the jet age. It's just starting to come upon us and they're incorporating all of this in here. When we look in the back right there, you're going to see the exhaust parts of the jet and the styling for the V down here. This is what makes a Bel Air such a great looking car is that piece right there. These are uh, replica wide whites, right? So these are original style wide whites. This also has fender skirts. So you get two completely different looks on the car. Put the fender skirts on, right? Or take them off, they're in the trunk right now. We can show you both of those and that way you get to see what you'd like best. All right, so a couple telltale signs of beautiful restoration. First off was the paint that we love, right? And all the chrome that's completely redone and shiny and brand new, right? Which just makes it very nice. All the emblems, decals, stickers, all that stuff, all beautifully done. The underhood, we haven't finished detailing it, but I wanted to show it to you anyway because the car just arrived and I didn't want to get away. But before I go, I'm going to throw a piece of trivia out there real quick. How many of you know where the gas cap is? Because that's my favorite thing to do is to take this home, have some friends come over, say, listen, if you don't mind, check out the cool new gas cap I installed on my Bel Air. Leave them out there for a few minutes. No one ever knows where the gas cap is. Don't look it up, all right? You either know it or you don't know it. But if you don't know it, I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. All right. Here we go under the hood here. Now this is nice and you're going to say, well, how come it's so nice? Well, let me tell you why it's so nice. First off, GM hoses, okay? Correctly painted valve covers, correct oil bath air cleaner. This has some great features as well. It's got power brakes, okay? It has power steering. Power steering back then was driven off the back of the alternator, right? Or the generator, I should say, this model of your car. See it right there, all right? Blower and things. Normally we would have a battery and battery topper on this car. The car just arrived. We'll install that before you take delivery of it. And it just adds a really nice touch to it. And this is all painted beautifully in here. It's got the right clamps on it. It's got all the detail stuff, dual working horns, right? Nice big radiator. All that stuff is right there and ready for you to go and take it to a car show. 
All right, let's finish up with some style back here as well because this is what most people see. First off, this car rolls down the road pretty quickly, right? But it's got great sound. This has dual exhaust on it, all right? This has the jet exhaust coming out the back, the fins that are swept like this to give it that look of, you know, just like it's moving all the time. Then the great thing about it too is if you want to go away from the weekend, this is the car to go do that. Or if you want to go to take a, a picnic or what have you, uh, you would put the correct key in there like I just didn't, anyway. You'd lift this up right here and you go, wow, this is really nice. So these are the fender skirts. We have them wrapped up. Uh, Colin's gonna go ahead and put them on the car in a little bit. And he's gonna take some pictures of the car with the skirts on there as well. So you can see both sides. But look at the detail in here. This has a correct original style spare. Jacking instructions, including all the jack parts right there. Uh, they're also detailed as well. This is all painted the way it's supposed to, plus the insulation is put on the inside of the trunk. You say, well, Tone, what does it matter about the tiny bit of little insulation? Well, it's that last little step of detail that says that some cars are more restored than others. All right, so some of the cool features that you probably haven't seen in 20 or 25 years are little stuff like this. The rain guard, right? This is the rain channel. This is the rain guard. Keeps uh, water from getting on there or like if you want to smoke, it allowed you to do that. Then you have these cool vent windows. Check this out. When's the last time you saw one of these, huh? When is the last time? Probably never, right? Well, of course you've seen it, but you know what? You haven't seen them recently. We have kids that come here all the time. They'll look at a car and they'll see this handle inside here. They go, what is the handle inside there? We'll go, well, that's a window crank. And they'll go, what's a window crank? And you're like, oh my God, you're right. Minivans and things like that don't have min window cranks. And that's all they've ridden around. And that's why I love these cars so much. They have such great style. All right, so come join me in here because this is so much fun. I wanna point this out for a second. Imagine going out with two other couples in this car to dinner. Everybody gets in, they get in the back. Look at the colors and things in here, man. I'm smiling. Listen, remember, this is not my era, right? I was in the muscle car kind of era in the 70s and 80s, but this car has style past style past style. Look at the detail of the fabrics and the patterns. The dash is beautifully done in here. This has uh, a full set of gauges and this awesome, awesome steering wheel that's here, right? If you wanted to, we could hide a nice digital sound system like we do for a lot of people in the glove box there, keeping the dash all stuck, but then you get all the music that you want to go cruising. Imagine the kids going someplace with you, going on a picnic or whatever. This is fun. As we said, we're gonna go ahead and reveal where the gas tank is. It's right behind the, nope, it's not there either. Oh, it's right over here on the side. Nope, it's not over there. Oh, it's over on this. No one ever knows. They look for hours, they can't ever find it. Here it is, hidden right here inside. This is one of the greatest styling features ever. This is factory. This is the way they came. And you put the gas in right there. That is, my friend, is what we call super cool. All right, so we close up with this real deal 57 black Bel Air, huh? Wow, it just sounds great. So what do you have for a collector car? I got a 57 Bel Air. It just sounds beautiful and a beautiful restoration to go along with it, plus some added things. Very period correct wide white tires, luxury of power steering and power brakes that are in there. We could put a, a hidden digital sound system inside there. You have your choice of fender skirts on or fender skirts off for two completely different looks. And you can just see, man, this car is beautifully restored. It needs to be in your garage. You gotta figure a way to get it in there. And on top of it right now, uh, at the offered price, it comes with a one year warranty. Who can offer that other than Flemings? That's why I say don't leave the safety of the circle. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 57 Bel Air. Don't forget to click on the link below. Take you to prices, descriptions, and videos. And uh, don't forget also to leave us some comments. Maybe you rode around in one of these cars in the day. Maybe you knew somebody that had one. Maybe you have one right now. We would love to hear about it. We'd love to chat with you on that. Thanks so much for looking.